Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your reading. So, month of October already. Um, I'm gonna wish you right away a happy Halloween. I forgot to say on other videos, but anyway, here it is. Happy Charmaine. Uh, we're gonna have a beautiful second full moon on the 31st of October, just for the Halloween and the Charmaine. And it's going to be in Taurus. The first full moon will be on the 1st of October in Aries, your I am. And then we have a new moon in Libra and another full moon in Taurus. And I think Libra full new moon here will be very impactful because it is uh, justice. Um, and until now, justice came out in all my signs that I did. So... Um, I think the opportunity to rebalance certain situations in our lives uh, will be very strong with that new moon. Okay, so the first card that came out, Six of Swords. Six of Swords, this is taking the decision, because we have to look on this. You have the masculine, the feminine, the inner child. The masculine is actually holding a wand in his hand, even if this is a sword uh, card. And it is on water. Um, emotions, up and down emotions, rocky emotions, um, not feeling serene at all. Using our willpower to move ourselves from a situation and to go on another shore, turning a page going to a more serene place. This is when our mental process reaches our heart chakra and we can gain that serenity. But serenity is a choice. And I think this is a bit what's going to happen. Then, talking about choice, I have the two of wands. Doing that move, this is like I'm going to choose to leave a chaotic situation and that opens up a new um, path in front of me at the same time. Because the Two of Wands is the way I've always done things and a new way. And by taking the decision to go towards a new way, you're opening up this new way. That's the magic of life right there. And then, Eight of Wands, Arrows of Love. Then by doing this, the universe can start dancing with you can start back and forward, um, in and out, eight of wands, arrows of love, and that can be serendipity, back and forward messages, all of a sudden you're in the flow. So, if we look under here, under our six of sword, I have the seven of wands and the five of cups. We are talking about disappointments, sorrows, sadness that you hold within yourself and um, that you feel. And here, with the Seven of Wands, this is like, I'm not going back down here. I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not feeling sad and all of that anymore. I'm going to choose. Here's the wand in the hand. I'm going to choose to move to calmer waters and I'm going to leave my sadness behind. Um, the Five of Cups doesn't have to be like, you know, grieving from someone's passing. It doesn't have to be always things like that. Just the disappointments of, oh, I've invested myself somewhere and... I'm, I'm not getting what I thought I would be getting. That's a Five of Cups. It is a disappointment, but mixed with um, also that kind of, oh, it's, it's hurting me at the same time. The sorrow of the loss. The Two of Wands here under, we have the Four of Cups. That new path that you create in front of you invokes the fact that you have to look at and see that extra cup. Because if you're just remaining in those, I'm just looking at what I've experienced until now, and there was a lot of Five of Cups in it, 
that was my old way two of wands is lord of the domain i've done things a certain way uh, for a long time and now we see that your pure will power opened up a new path and it's a new path where you have to look and grab that ace of cup for you to take that new path and run with it knight of wands you're holding that wand and you're running with it here and so the universe starts playing with you here is justice rebalancing a situation here is the sun bottom of the deck the fool so you see that brand new page opening up in front of you um, and in order to grab it you need to seize it and seizing it emotionally that means opening yourself to receive more and willing yourself to take it yes that's what I want kind of thing so okay let's clarify this reading for Sagittarius I call upon the divine I call upon the light I call upon the Holy Spirit help me clarify this reading for Sagittarius for the month of October Sagittarius for the month of October. Okay. Six of Sword. Show me the Six of Sword here. Sagittarius. Ah. Nine of Cups. Five of Sword. You are going to leave a shore where emotionally it was affecting you because here there's disappointment in the sense of, ah, it's like I can't win. It's like um, this is being defeated. This is defeated by life. I'm investing myself, I'm making efforts, and that's what I get in return. Uh, these can be words that are spoken to you that are hurtful. When you look at the people here, you see those two people uh, leaving in the back, and you have that guy that's all proud of winning. Um, yes, you can choose to win if you can win, and uh, knowing that the outer result is not an improvement it's just the fact that you won but nothing is growing out of it so sometimes we can deal with things like that uh, and it is like yeah they're expressing their rights uh, this this guy is not stealing his, stealing his win he has the arguments and the things like that he is expressing himself in a way that probably making you feel very sad and sorrowed but um, you're going to leave that behind. Listen, if you want this, this is like trying to help somebody. And then they turn around and tell you uh, that uh, what you did did not help. And that, you know, it made things even worse. And so you're all left like, oh my God, really? So this is like, okay, I'm leaving all of that behind that's it i'm not going down the hill with you and starting to feel bad and sad and all of that you see what i mean so i'm going towards my own emotional fulfillment and that's it two of wands ah Two of Wands, Two of Cups, Page of Pentacle. In that new wand, there's a new seed. In that new path, there's a new seed that you can plant. That means a new grasp on this reality. Um, pentacles is not just money. It's our five senses. It's the four elements in spirit. It is the kingdom here, Malkut. Pentacle. 
two of cups um, here it can for some of you it can be an offer a real offer from somebody from the mirrors see leaving uh, mirrors that brought disappointment and where you had to uh, you know you have to get out of there into yes I'm gonna start investing and accept maybe an offer so some of you will probably have an offer because you decided to leave behind this and go towards your emotional fulfillment towards your wish towards what would make you happy so for some of you it's a relationship others of you it's a partner a friend uh, anyway your your uh, mirrors just the quality of the interactions around you will be on another base okay eight of ones ah geez okay two of cups here is the five of swords so I would see it more like a five of swords reversed here because we have justice here and they showed us that five of sword that you are leaving it behind six of sword all of that type of energy of trying to use one's mind to kind of make it or to be loved or to be appreciated and that it just isn't coming you're going to start loving and appreciating yourself that's why the universe can bring you an opportunity that is going to be shown uh, in your two of cups here changing this type of dy dynamic of the five of sword for a eight of wands which is from a, our higher self and our well-being that's the universe playing with us five of swords this is us trying to swim against the current seven of wands strength judgment yes that what pushes you out of this situation it is an awakening a judgment call to go into your higher self it's like no 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 see the nine of cups and the judge and the strength card they both have the white dress usually which means when we're in our higher self um, so this is like leaving how the lion used to do things how you used to battle in life and choosing using that willpower to move yourself somewhere else this is like a judgment call i'm out of here I'm not participating in this anymore. Oh, four of cups. Here I have the star and the high priestess. So yes, um, rising your head, getting out of thinking that that is your just your reality, your emotional reality that can be for you, having faith, opening yourself. This is a soul's lesson. This is what your soul was asking you to do. Being able to leave behind all of that baggage and knowing that now I am aligning myself so that the universe can start playing with me. The star, wish fulfill. For your wish to come in, you have to be under it and with your arms open. You have to grab that cup of the four of cups here okay so let's look at justice and that is the new path you're choosing and it's gonna take effect in concrete life that's why the page of pentacle is here ace of pentacle queen of sword with justice so um, finally being able to perceive the opportunities in life for you for your own fulfillment that's what justice by taking that new path 
justice will be able to rebalance your perception in front of you and being able to seize the opportunities that are there. Therefore, your wish uh, fulfilled here. The, the Queen of Sword can see the Ace of Pentacle. That is the balance. Instead of being deprived by it, the universe is actually building moves and things like that so that you can get it. Show me that Five of Cups here for Sagittarius. So Five of Cups is, is going to be different for all of you. It is basically... Uh, there you go. We have the Judgment. Here, Five of Wands. Five of Cups. Five of Wands. This is fighting. Maybe... Uh, there was fighting around you, arguments and things like that, and people trying to win and dislocate others. Uh, and you're like, uh-uh, I'm not playing this game. I am leaving conflict behind, using my judgment call, using my higher self. I'm opening up a brand new road where I will take fulfillment for myself. And you're taking that brand new road on a gung-ho with the Knight of Wands. I am not even considering this past anymore or what is it going to be in the future. I am leaving this behind. I am in the here and now. Here in the here and now, there's an opportunity for me and I am aligned with my stars. I'm going to remain in my integrity of my higher self. Yes. Tower of the Four of Cups. Tower of accepting this low vibration. That that is your reality. No more. No. You're taking here. Knight of Wands. You're taking that new path and you're going. You're going for it. So if some of you had an opportunity, you're going to have an opportunity coming towards you. That's for sure. So take it. Don't sacrifice it for the sake of of sadness and conflict and whatnot that is around you right now and that's going to become completely obvious for you if it's not already because you did already if you haven't already done that move of leaving the chaos behind you are going to do it soon the sun show me the sun for Sagittarius Ace of Pentacle again with the Page of Sword. So there you go. You're going to hear about that beautiful opportunity that's going to bring back balance into your life. Leaving this and arriving here on a brand new cycle, leap of fate. And you will understand that that opportunity was not able to come into you. You wouldn't have been able to actually grab it, Page of Pentacle not having chosen that new path, not having chosen to have faith and to grab that cup that you're not seeing uh, or that you weren't seeing before, to open yourself to a higher level of vibration. You had to uh, grasp that knowledge, that understanding, to be able to have this opportunity that's coming towards you. So yes, new opportunity uh, that is coming but because you did that so leaving chaos behind to move to the sun and an ace of pentacle that is beautiful so on this my beautiful Sagittarius I'm gonna send you all my love and light and Thank you for sharing and commenting. I read all the comments. Um, uh, this channel to help it grow. Um, if you want a private reading, the description is below. You write to me and I'll send you the information to get a reading, private reading with me. Thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. It helps more than you think. And on the full moon, new moon, I do a little ceremony to give you back. 
Um, happy Halloween again, Charmaine. And this month we have a blue moon. So here is the opportunity of a blue moon. <laughs> so, all right. On this, all my love and light. And keep, uh, keep the light on for that rest of 2020 and um, all that has been happening this year. Okay?